Hey guys, and today I'm coming at you with a full software tour of the HTC Desire Z. Now this one's Android 2.2, but it has some goodies up its sleeve because it runs SenseUI. So today we're going to go over what SenseUI is, and we're going to show you, show you the different aspects of it. So, so let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to say that because the way this is set up, I can't really tell how much you'll be able to see on the final video. In e in editing, I'll decide whether this video will ever come to be in, in uploading. But if 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 you're ever seeing this video, it means that I think the level of what you can see is acceptable. But just be warned, this won't be perfect. Okay, so like I said. This runs SenseUI with Android 2.2 on board, and um, that's one of the great things about Android. You can download different skins on most HTC devices from SenseUI. So let's do a full tour. At the, at the top, we've got our standard notification tray, um, and the first widget we've got on the screen is this big clock. Uh, big clock. Um, and when the widget we've, we've then got some icons and this drawer down at the bottom it's got home menu and personalize um, if we go into the menu you can see the usual app drawer there um, the, the, the weather widget has some HTC customizations you can see this is a HTC app so if you Scroll over, you get this nice little, little, nice little slider as it slides between the different things. So that's one HTC customization that you don't get with default Android. You also have this um, when you if I turn turn the phone off and then turn back on again, you can see we've got this slide down to, to unlock functionality. And then when I slide down, you get these weather nice weather customizations here. Um, so you can see that there. If you want to remove a widget, all you need to do is drag it down to the um, bottom of the screen, and now you can see that 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 Sentry widget we had on there before is gone. That's good because it gives us a chance to look up some of the other widgets uh, you can get. That that's a nice little segue. This is the new personalized screen that's integrated into the new version of Sense. So you can see at the moment we've got this black theme that's very square. Um, a new thing from HTC is we can go into skins and there's a variety of skins with different elements to them that you can choose from. So this one's called Metal and you can also get more from the HTC Sense website. So if we apply that, we can see the, the whole look of our bottom bar down here changes a bit. It's circular and obviously you have the phone icons. So then let's look. Um, some of the other HTC customization you can get. You can obviously add widgets, folders, mail accounts, all that kind of stuff, but we're not really going to go over that. Um, it's got some nice custom wallpapers. You can choose HTC wallpapers or live wallpapers. Let's look at. Um,
<laughs> so, sorry guys, it's kind of hard because I'm doing it. Live wallpapers, there we go. And you can see we've got this default HTC sense wallpaper. And if we apply that, you can see we've got this little uh, moving bubbles. And you can, um, that consumes a lot of battery life. It has live wallpapers on the Nexus One. Um, but that's it there. So we've been over skins, we've been over live wallpapers. The main bread and butter of HTC Sense though is these widgets. So let's take a look at those. Widgets are kind of extensions of apps that Android's well known for. Um, and Android has some default widgets, but HTC kind of builds up on top of them and improves them with their HTC Sense. Interface. So, if we just take a look at that, there's the bookmarks widget, and you can see if I slide across, there's several different. Um, you can page through the widgets, and if we go back. You can just get a breather of all the different widgets you can get. So say we wanted um, a calendar widget. These are all the different variety of calendar widgets you can get. So let's say we wanted just this one appointment widget. Sure, late, our latest appointment. If we select that it loads from our calendar so um, that that is nice to, obviously you can remove them just by dragging down to the bottom there um, let's take a look at some more of these actually let's take a look at some custom HTC applications the HTC bundle with the um, uh, design, design Z. In the UK, this does not come with any bloatware, so um, that's kind of nice. There, you have HTC connected media, which will allow you to stream music, video, um, all sorts of things to devices that are. DLNA equipped, so that will be um, things like your, P your PS3 and several other media center kind of several of the media center accessories that you can get for that um, we also have um, HTC's desk clock and their custom camera app which adds a lot of functionality um, there we have things like the Android market which obviously is on the device anyway HTC Home, which if you have a HTC account, which I don't at the moment, it lets you get a whole bunch of extra content, so that's nice there. Um, the reason why it keeps coming up with all these every time I press the home button is because I have some custom launchers in installed on this device that I'm trying out that didn't come as a default launcher. If you don't don't make any
customization the only um, thing that will come is is the HTC um, HTC launcher so that's worth knowing there if we um, go back into the personalization options because we didn't look, look at scenes and scenes are something that's been around uh, quite a while from HTC and they are custom widget configurations that pertain to different things so you can see we've got work here and the work one and travel one a whole bunch of different ones that are different widget configurations so let's let's take a look at uh, this one for example the work scene and see what HTC thinks um, we should have in our work scene so it applies two clocks that you can set to whatever time you want just change the wallpaper uh, adds the maps and the messages icon to it um, maps and the messages icon over there we've got facilities to control our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth we've also got a weather widget a light contact widget we've also got a news widget which you can configure for an RSS feed which I don't currently have configured but let's just say I want to subscribe to Chris Pirello feed so can I have my YouTube account it'll give me updates from Chris Pirello's blog and the thing about widget is they update live so this will take a, li a little more battery life but um, be a little more usable we can have a cool customization from HTC is this what they call leap feature and you can go for any of your home screens with HTC Sense you can have up to 9 home screens as opposed to the uh, sorry you can have up to 7 home schemes as opposed to the 5 that comes on default Android um, so that is very nice there let's take a quick look at the HTC keyboard so for that we'll head on over into messaging let's just say I want to compose a new message we won't write it to anyone for now um, and here is the standard HTC keyboard you can obviously get uppercase letters and all the great autocorrect that Android is known for like I was talking about with, with the custom launches you can also put custom keyboards on the device so that is nice there and um, one of my favourite features of the um, Android operating system in general and I know this is a HTC Sense overview but uh, one of my favourite features of the Android operating system in general is this, this little icon right here so if we go over that you can then speak so Hey buddy, how are you doing? Question mark. Doesn't want to do it because I'm in the two field, but if we go. Down, down to the message. Select the English there, you can also have different international keyboards.
Hey buddy, how are you doing? Question mark. And I don't know if you can see it, but it transcribed it, so it's really easy to type. Um, not to mention the physical QWERTY board that they that they do. Uh, uh, HCC Live Z or Timo Wood G2 offers. Um, if we go ahead and look into the camera. You can see you've got a variety of options here. We have um, options to turn the flash on and off, photo view mode. We've also got, if I go into the menu, options to add different effects so we can crop the picture and that right on the fly. So, in, in summary, what do I think of HTC Sense? It adds, um, what I think is a nice layer to Android and making it a little, a little more usable. Um, I, I do think though that it, for some people it might be a bit superfluous superfluous an Android purist may not may not warm to it as much. Um, so that is my full full tour for you of HTC Sense. I've got a whole bunch of other videos coming out in the in the next in the next few days and weeks as I get more of a favour with this device. So if there was anything else you wanted to see, please do let me know. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed, you can click above to go on my channel to check out more videos, and thanks for watching, bye bye.